Okay, so I'm going to start with Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, moving on to season one, episode three. It starts off, it left off from the fight at the tattoo party. You know, Ray dumps Tierra's stuff off and they get into it, whatever. Nia and Dre, aka Soldier Boy, they talk about something from about the little incident when he walked off and all the other shit. Really don't care about them too much because Nia, listen to Kima Show's song, you can't raise a boy to be a man. You looking for a man. He's a 24 year old boy. Not a man. Just because he make money for himself and all that stuff. Yeah, that makes him grow because he can pay his bill. But do not make him a man. Because the way he's acting. Okay? You're looking for somebody. You're looking for a man. That would that would want mine, you know, being there for you, loving you the way he does. Because I'm, I'm not too sure y'all together still or that. Whatever. So, Amari's rehearsing, you know, doing his, like, touch stuff. Whatever. Or saying while Ava's watch and then they talk about his mom's situation. Like Ava's basically saying you need to check your mom. Cause she acting like you her man. Okay? And I'm kinda getting that feel like she's very a lot of people a lot of people that who talk to me about it or are asking or seen the show kinda saying that his mom was kinda jealous. I'll get into that in a minute. Hazel's at the nail salon with Jazz. They talk about Tierra and her problem. Tierra does have she has a drinking problem. Because the fact that when you have to drink, when you drink and it turns you into the she hulk you have a little bit of a problem. It's like Judy from Bad Girls Club, she has a problem. Anyway. Molly Ball and Masika look for furniture for his condo or whatever. And then they talk about their relationship, which is for Nico anyway. Girl, you should have seen through his lies in the first place. I don't know what y'all find attractive about that man because he looks like Uncle Festa from Animal's Family. He looks like... One of them back in the day carnival people with the thick eyebrows and said Mr. Strongman type shit. That's what he looked like. Um. Anyway, April and Mars they meet up with Fizz and Amanda and they talk about their problems. You know, Fizz and his baby mama, Mario and his mama, whatever you know. All those stuff. Basically, Fizz needs to talk to Moniz and Mario needs to talk to his mom. Seriously. Nikki meets up with Molly and he's telling how he's telling lies or a different story about Masika and all that other stuff and you know the bimbo Barbie classic Barbie believes that shit. Good work for you, Nikki. Um, T's in the studio recording. She gets she gets into it with Hazel. I'm so done with both of them, like, I'm done with both of them. And Fizz talks to Moniz about the conversation she had with Amanda, and among other things about, and, you know, she gets into her little soap opera tears, and when she loves her son. You know what? I'm not going to fault Moniz, but Fizz, you also need to do better in communicating. Yes, even though you did put a machine on her, yes, you know she's crazy. If she wants to see her son, you have to communicate more with that. Because you know, since you're broadcasting on TV that she doesn't, since y'all are on TV and she's telling you that she doesn't, she's telling that she doesn't get to see her son, that might cause us to some legal problems. Work on that. Fix that. Anyway, me and her, me and her sister, they talk, well, they were about to walk in for Dre's birthday party. They about to walk in for Dre to, you know, celebrate his birthday. His friends end up throwing him a party. Yeah, she's not too happy about that. Mm. Ryan and April and Mama Leslie. You know, they talk about some things. They get into it. And all you know, she comes out like, this right here is my I said this blah 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 and that's all that for you. And I do not like you. 
you're, first of all, honey, you're not old. You're only 40 something. With a nose ring, and you kind of look. Her. I'm sure you can do a little job that doesn't stress you out that you can pay for your own medical bills or something or help pay half. Um, you have to realize Amari has a new family. And yes, I think you're jealous because you didn't have really have a man to help you out with it and because April does have Amari on to help. You're jealous of that day. You are. I think you're jealous about that. You need to work on that. You need to work on it. Work on being the mama. I'm working on whatever makes Amarion happy, you should be happy. That's what you need to work on. If he, if you see something wrong, you tell him. Or, you just keep your mouth shut and let him learn his own lesson. Work on that. Morgan talks to Ray about the whole thing with Sierra and he, he goes into his little bitch face. I'm not getting into that, that's all. Hazel decides to leave the apartment in love and hip hop fashion. And her and T get into it. Right. Um moving on. I think I'm gonna do Love and Hip Hop season one and episode four together so you get yeah, you get a long ass video for me. So season one, episode four. Claim something. I'll put the title on there when I get it. Um, Amari, Fizz, and Soldier, they play basketball, and then they talk about their little problems, whatever, whatever. You're gonna keep that moving. Nikki and her mom talk about Molly Mom and Masika. The plastic, you know, they all, they kind of look, they just, ugh. I don't have a word for this. But if you do, put it down in the comments. Um, Hazel and Ray J talk, well, they need it. Hazel and Berg, they, you know, they meet up, well, they came from someplace, and, you know, they go to her place, they mess around, and he basically plays her, like, you don't get the hint, Hazel, you're delusional, he don't want you, he's been giving you the sign saying that he don't want you, he not into you, Heffa, move on, Ooh, just move on, move he don't want you, you need to go ahead and find another one. Because you're dealing with a little less voice. But then again, he's basically been really blunt with you and telling you he don't want you. You know, y'all friends, y'all fuck buddies, y'all cool. But that's it. Okay? Okay. There's an Amanda, you know, they had a little boat date, whatever. They talk about their little situation. You know, he needs to communicate more. All this other stuff. And about the moving in thing. Morgan and T, they talk, and Masika comes up, and they talk about Nikki and how she used to look to now she looks. I, Nikki, I gotta say something. You looked way prettier before you decide to look like a Mattel Barbie. Okay? Or before you decide to look like a blow up doll. You looked prettier back in the day. I don't know what issues you had with your body that you wanted to change it. Okay. Ryan and his mama Leslie talk about what's going on and talk about what he what she needs to do, like and he invited her to the baby shower. You thought that was a good idea. Yes, I know you want your mama to be there because you really think that was a good idea, huh? Did ya? No. Anyway, Berg is at ask cap awards and he's with another girl. Hazel season has a little fit, whatever, whatever. He laughs at it and keeps him in. Okay. April and my and Amari's baby shower is happening. Mama Leslie comes in and she brings her miserable drama. Saying that April's not fit enough to be a mother. First off, there's a couple of mistakes in the wrong with it. You don't come to a baby shower and talk about that shit. You could have waited until after. So, Amari, you should have said something right then and there when your mother said she wasn't fit to be a mother. 
instead of waiting until the next episode episode to say shit. Because if that was me, I'd be ready to suck your mother and you. But because Hmm. Hmm. Anyway. And third. Really, bitch? Really? Oh, how do you know? You don't know. Anyway. April, she walks away, you know, goes to her baby shower. Because that lady is going to put April in a lot of stress. Doing. And April, you know what? I wouldn't even try to be accepted by that lady. I really wouldn't. Disrespect her that that's Samaria's mother, but don't even try to be accepted with her. Don't even... Don't. Just don't. Okay? You know, Soulja Boy, he's setting up the house, you know, to baby-proof it. Trying to be a little bit responsible or whatever, whatever. Yeah, and also he's getting tired of Nia comparing him. Comparing him to her father because when her father used to go on tour and stuff, he messed around with a lot of women and now she has siblings from different, from different people. So she thinks Soldier Boy's going to do that. But I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Morgan and Masika and Tiara are waiting for Nikki, the little massage parlors they had, and, you know, Masika and Nikki get into it. Nikki, you can't fight. Keep your mouth closed, because Masika looked like she was about to tear you up. You don't want to break that little face that your doctor needs for you. Don't do that. Okay? Okay. Anyway, that was episode one of, ooh. It was episode three and four. Y'all gonna get five in a minute.